Hello guys, you're welcome to Social Spirit once again. In today's class, we will learn how to add a curved beam. We are going to put several curved beams here on this structure. So you know how to apply that. Yes. Um, okay. This is a structure I just modeled for this purpose. You may be wondering, you have not seen this in our channel. Yes, I just modeled it for this particular lesson. You will do um, um, apply application of curved beams, after which we do a uh, um, plate addition. We add plates here. We also mesh the plates. Um, we can also do a uh, offset of members. How to do offset of members in uh, Start Pro. So we'll do all that, but not in one video anyway. Okay, we kick start. We go back to geometry. Yeah. This is a concrete structure as you can see. Yeah. So for us to add the curved beam, I want to add the curved beams here in this structure. To do that, there are many ways we can do that. We can just um, uh, um, eliminate other structures and show and display only this level that we, we want to work on by simply clicking on view. Then we can click on this front view and I will select all the beams at this level and I click on selected object. Yeah, then I'll go back to isometric view. So it shows only this uh, this level. So where I want to add my my curved beams this way. So before we do that, I will we'll do some little calculation with AutoCAD. We have we need to draw draw our curve our curve beam with AutoCAD then to determine the distance between the beam and this other beam, the spacing between the 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 circumference of the the curved beam and this this beam so quickly do that so here okay then let's check the dimension of these beams that will help us to achieve our aim we have uh, this one is four four meters four meters four meters In this side we have three meters okay now we go back to AutoCAD. I will draw a line of 4000 length. So that's the beam. I want to add my distance. So now I would like the, the, the curve from the center of this beam, type mid, center of this beam to be projected by two meters yeah yes so now I'll come here under circles I will select this one of three points okay let's click this click on this extreme point then add this one so this is actually giving me the curved beam the type of curve beam I, that will suit my my design. I want this place to be two meters. That's why is this type of curve beam. So the smaller the smaller the the cantilever, the bigger the radius the the curvature radius of curvature. So if I see the this one is one um, two meters. So if I do another one. Uh, Okay, four meters as well. Okay, now okay. Well, let me see. This one should be should project by one meter. This one meter. Then I still pick this type of circle. You see, the cantilever is smaller here, one meter, but the radius of curvature is bigger so what is the radius of curvature the radius of curvature is this is a curve yes and every curve has a, is a circle 
is, 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 is part of a circle. So now the center of this circle is, is here, this place. So from the center of the circle to the, the, the circumference is what is, is as the radius of curvature 2005. So it's more here. And here, this one is 2000. The radius of curvature here is 2000, while this one is 2005. So, but this is what we we'll use so that you, you, you see our curve, you know, come out well. So it depends on what you have as your design, you know, but it's just the same procedure. So we're using our our radius of curvature will be 2000, yeah. So we go back to Start Pro. So for us to do that, uh, we click on Geometry, Under Add Beam. See under Add Beam, there's a drop down arrow there. Click on that arrow, you see Curve Beam icon. Then at the first and second point, this dialog box pops up. Then you put the radius of curvature, which is 2 meters. Then the angle here is 90. You click OK. That's our curve. That's our curve. It's OK. Then I can as well add to this one the same thing. I will choose uh, it's still the same two meters, yeah. Gamma angle here. Um, let me see one. Okay, still ninety. Just want to show you different types of you know how to rotate the curvature to different the 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 um sides. Okay. This one I will choose a different angle, still two meters. Okay. Okay. Then uh, gamma angle. I will use one eighty. Yeah. This one is going downward. Yes, that's okay. Then for this one, two meters as well. I'll use zero angle. Yeah, it is up. So this is the angle you use to control the di the direction you want it to go. Yes, you can see this is ninety. This one is zero angle. When you drop it down towards your right, it becomes 90 degrees. Drop it down further to 180. So I just want you to understand. 180. That's good. Okay, let's add this one. Of course, you should guess what this one should be. This should be the same 2 meters. Then the angle, if, uh, if we have this to be 0, this to be 90 and this to be 180 what do you think this other one should be i want it to face the normal side this other side it should be 270 270 okay that's that's very good okay let's do to the other side this other side the adjacent side you click here and here yeah so it still goes um, in clockwise direction. That's just the summary. Assuming you are standing at this origin, this point is the origin, the coordinate 0, 0, 0. If you stand here and you are facing this direction, then this, this is the origin of the arc, which is 0 angle. So if you rotate it clockwise, 90 degrees, it comes this way. You get this one. If you rotate it, Again, further clockwise, clockwise, you get this one, which is 180. Rotate it further clockwise, you get this, which is 270. So now standing here at the origin again, now facing this axis, the Z axis, this one is up, should be zero. The up should be zero. So... If I if you rotate it clockwise 90 degrees, it should be outside. So let's try that. Let me use two 
meters and 90 degrees so that's good the same pattern is 90 so now if we rotate, rotate it further again it gives us um 180 which is going to be pointing down so if i do it again like this it's going to point down if i do 180 still 2 meters 180 it's going to point down like i said so now if i rotate it again it's going to give me um the other side which is uh, you still use 2 meters 270 it's as simple as that this is just all, all about adding curves to our structure so do not have any challenge whenever you want to add a curved beam because i know some structures um have have a uh, have curved beams for aesthetic purposes to just to beautify buildings and houses so when you see curved buildings or you see a slab that is curved don't be don't be afraid just this is the only way this is the way to do that, do that. very simple so now let's say uh, uh, assign property to our, our beams and um, then we, we look at the 3d view so you go to view whole structure and i will select all the all these our beams uh, first of all let's select the i want I, I would like it to be uh, 300 depths so select all these my curved beams then we go to 3d view to appreciate what we have done In our sign that's good so we go to view that's good see see the curve beams that's that's that that's that's see this one is is like this you can even anyway if you want to you can delete the beams here if if that's if that is what you want or you leave it there to help carry this slab that will be there that's that curve beams this one is pointing down you see because I used angle 180, this one is for angle 90, this is angle 90, alpha angle 90, this is angle 90, angle 180 pointing down, angle 0 vertically up, yeah, angle 180 for the other side, yeah, so look at this side as well, you see, so this is how to add curved beams i believe you have learned something today if you actually have a, uh, have learned something i will if you are yet to subscribe to my channel i would like you to hit the subscribe button now the mission is free of charge subscribe and give me a positive comment thank you very much as you do that okay see you next class in our next class we'll be adding plates on this structure we'll add plates here on the structure we can mesh the structure then i'll show you how to move the beams these are our beams you can move them offset it has beam offset you know you do offset in 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 autocad we can as well do offset in in star pro see you in our next class stay tuned thank you